throughout the show, we have been highlighting great games that you can get your hands on later this year into the next. But for this segment, we're going to change it up a little bit and welcome Harrison Hoffman, who will walk you through the future of Xbox gaming without having to have an Xbox console. Now, I know I just said what I just said, but could you explain to us what that really means? Yeah, for sure. So what we're showing here today is the brand new Xbox app for Samsung Smart TVs. So this is an app that comes pre-installed on all 2022 Samsung Smart TVs. And all you have to do is launch the app, sign in with your Microsoft account, uh, pair a Bluetooth controller. We actually support both Xbox as well as PlayStation uh, DualSense and DualShock 4 controllers. Uh, and you can just jump right into the, to the game to play. Well, we're right here right now. Could you walk us through a little bit what that app looked like? Yeah, for sure. So right here, uh, we're on the home screen of the app. So the first thing that you'll notice when, when you come in here is uh, we've filled the top of the screen with your recently played games. So we know from our, from our experience with, with the console that the most common thing that people do when they come back to play is just jump right back into something that they were playing before. So we made that really, really easy. Now, if you want to find something new to play, you can just kind of scroll down from here. So you may have heard recently we made Fortnite uh, free to play on Xbox Cloud Gaming. So again, all you need is that Microsoft account and you can just jump right in and play Fortnite. Um, but if you have an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription, that's when you unlock you know, hundreds of you know, high quality games that you can just play right here um, inside the app. So you can see some of the, the, the game selections that, we, that we, we've curated for folks here. Some of our most popular games, Forza Horizon 5, Halo Infinite, Sea of Thieves, uh, all the ones that, that you'd expect. And then obviously our recently added games. So we're constantly adding new games to Game Pass. And you know, I just kind of come in here like you know, a couple times a week and see what's new and just and just jump right into it. So, you know, Two Point Campus, Turbo Golf Racing, Cooking Simulator, all ones that, that have come out really recently here. Can we jump into a game right now? Yeah, let's do it. So let's check out Grounded. So uh, I'm super excited for the 1.0 release of Grounded that's, that's, that's coming up here. And I've, and I've been checking it out a bit lately. So uh, let's just load up into the game here. So what's happening right now is we are connecting you to the best Xbox Cloud Gaming server for your session here. Um, and when you're playing in Xbox Cloud Gaming, like you are playing in the Xbox ecosystem. So that means that all of your cloud game saves from your PC or your console or your phone are all automatically saved to the cloud. So you can pick up right where, where you left off from anywhere here. Um, so you can see we're, we're, we're getting into this game and we'll just go ahead and get the game started. And uh, what's happening right here is this game is running um, on our hardware in the cloud and being streamed down to the TV in real time at 1080p uh, 60 frames per second. Can I try it? Yeah, for sure. So let's just load, let's just load this game up here and then uh, we'll let you have a shot at it. So. Uh, all right, so here we are at, at the beginning of Grounded, and you can see uh, I'm running around, and one of the most important things uh, when we were developing this app is making sure that the gameplay feel is right. Like the the latency between uh, when you do something on your controller and what happens on TV has to be super low, and, it, and you have to feel like you're really in control of the game. So you can even see as I'm like coming around here, like how how responsive this is. Like you can see I'm just you know jumping here, and it's just being instantly reflected on the screen. Um, so let me actually uh, let you take a shot at this. Can I take the PlayStation controller? Yeah, you can take the PlayStation controller. So let me let me swap controller for microphone here. Oh and wow! This this is the first time for me playing an Xbox game with a PlayStation controller. But I, I know what you mean. Like the input feels it feels great. I feel see no latency. Um, I mean, it depends on the internet that you have at home. But this is a big step for gaming without having to have additional hardware. Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, uh, here at Xbox, we have been making consoles for, for 20 plus years. And like, I actually personally worked on, you know, Series X from early planning all the way through launch. So like myself and the team have tremendous respect for the gaming experience that, that consoles bring to TVs. But we also know that not everybody is going to buy a dedicated gaming device like a console to play. So, you know, all you have to do, like if you have a TV that, that this app works on, you just have to launch the app and you can play. So this is a multiplayer right now. Like, how can I team up with my friends here? Yeah. So uh, obviously, multiplayer a uh, huge part of of, of, the, of the Xbox experience. So that's why uh, whenever you're in a game, you can uh, hit the Xbox button here. I'll just grab my controller back. I can, I, 
can take this for you. No, we're handling this fine. We're great. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So uh, you can come into the guide here to see um, all of your friends. You can see what they're doing. Uh, you can invite any of them into your game. If one of them invites you to a game, you can come in here to uh, view your view your invitations as well. Just join right up. Um, also, um, achievements, a huge part of playing on Xbox. You've got to be able to unlock those achievements and, and get your gamer score. So you can do that here. All the achievements that you unlock on, on your TV um, are, are reflected across the Xbox ecosystem. So I can come in here and just really see what I need to work on. Thank you, Cloud, I would say. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Uh, all right, how about, we, how about we check out a different game? Let's Which one are you trying? Uh, well, I've, I've been really into this this new game called Turbo Golf Racing lately, and this, this game is brand new on Game Pass. It's actually in, in game preview, uh, so let's just hop right in, hop right into this. And, and this is one of those games that you know when I saw it come up on the recently like added list, you know I don't have to download it, I don't have to update this game, you know. So it's just super simple for me to just go and try it out, and uh, it turns out that I really like it, and it's and it's super fun. So. So are you go for yourself then? Uh, I used to be more of a golfer than I am now, but I do still enjoy it from time to time. <laughs> and this is different. Well, I can drive, but I don't golf, so I got 50% chance that I'm good in this game. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, let's just get right into a game here. So, just pick a solo map here, and we'll see what we can do. So how um, often would you switch a game in one session, for example? Um, I mean, it kind of really depends on the mood that I'm in. Like, like sometimes I want to go and just try out a bunch of different games. Sometimes, you know, I'm super invested in a game that I've been playing for hundreds of hours, and that's just kind of what I'm what I'm into. And that's just the sort of flexibility that you get with with cloud gaming here, just being able to to jump into any of these games uh, without any hassle. And you know, obviously, over the years, people have gotten oh, I bounced it off the tree there. Uh, obviously, over the years, people have gotten super used to you know streaming their movies and TV shows from apps on their TV. TV, like Netflix and Disney Plus so like we really just want to make it as easy to stream an Xbox game to your TV as it is to stream like a show from Netflix so well it looked like you're already pro here and you have been yeah. dedicated some sessions to it yeah uh, struggling a little bit right now but I swear I'm better when I'm not on camera uh, okay so I do have uh, one more treat for you here so follow me this way I will follow we will go to the next station I'm thankful we're having two stations right here okay let's do it what are we having here flight simulator okay so uh, what we have here Microsoft flight simulator so obviously this game uh, has a huge history on the PC and you kind of always need to have like you know a high-end gaming PC to really be able to enjoy this um, well recently you know we we brought this game over to Series X uh, as well and it's now playable on on the cloud so there's no big downloads here um, I don't have to have expensive hardware I can just come in here and fly and explore so I'm just kind of coming into beautiful Naples Italy right here um, do you want do you want to give it a shot yes of course I never say no to gaming yeah <laughs> Thank you so much. So, folks at home, if you never tried Flight Sim, just really, really, I would recommend take a Volocopter, take a Hello Pelican, and hover over the cities, because these details are so beautiful. I have to say, Asobo did a really amazing job. Yeah, I mean, this, this game is beautiful. It's just such a technical achievement, too. And, you know, um, all of these textures are just streaming down from, from, from the cloud in real time uh, from our Azure data centers. And that's really what makes this whole game possible here. And when is this coming out? This is out right now, right? Yeah, it's actually already out. So uh, if you have a 2022 Samsung Smart TV, this comes pre-installed. If you just go uh, into the gaming hub on, on your TV, then uh, you'll be good to go. Thank you so much, Harrison, for walking us through this. And I have to say, we've really come a long way from blowing in cartridges, wiping off our CDs to get into gaming. But one thing never changed, and that's the importance of community. And I love to see how platform is evolving, lower down barriers, and brings everybody together. And there's one franchise that brings the community together like no other, and that is Minecraft. I'm handing it off to my co-host, Graham, who's going to talk about the upcoming Minecraft Legends.